Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Redis Labs. Today I'm gonna to look at how to install Redis Surge uh, in Redis and use it. With me, Andrew. And in the corner. Ah! So if you aren't familiar with Redis Surge, it's a source available module from Redis Labs that adds the ability to query, index, and do full text searches with your Redis data. So we're going to just look at you know, if you have this module, how do you actually get it into Redis? How do you uh, get the Redis search commands available so that you can use them? So we'll look at three different ways to do this. The first is to compile the module and add it to a Redis deployment. So maybe this is one you're using on your laptop or maybe you have uh, you run Redis, you know, on your own server. And so this approach will work for either of those cases where you, you know, you want to take the module and just add it to Redis. The next thing we'll look at is how to use a Docker image that we've set up. So in this case, you just pull the image and you start a container with it and you have Redis running with Redis search available. So that's a great way to play around with Redis search. The other thing that we'll look at is if you don't want to use Docker, you don't want to manage Redis at all. You just want to use a managed database service to run Redis and Redis search and play around with it for free. We'll look at Redis cloud, which is a, our product, our, our uh, Redis labs, cloud hosted Redis product. So, I'll just click in there and set up a Redis search database really quickly and you can do the same if you like to take that route. So we'll look at those three different ways to get you set up with Redis search and ready to do some queries. All right, let's get started. So let's install this module and uh, see how that works. So I'm at the Redis search homepage. I'm gonna go to the quick start page. That's where we uh, have all these instructions that we'll be looking at. So you can do this yourself if you want. And the first thing I'm gonna do is Redis Cloud. That's the easiest thing to get started. And then also show off um, using Docker. And then if you already uh, have run your own Redis, we'll also look at how to load the binary into Redis server. Uh, so first thing is Redis Cloud. So let's go Redis Cloud. Um, I already have an account, so I don't need to sign up. I'm just gonna log in. And once you log in, you, if you have never done this before, you need to create a subscription. There's a free, tier on AWS, I think, and I think it's maybe on Azure. Yeah, uh, the fixed size free tier. So you can have a 30 megabyte database and you'll be able to use Redis search for that uh, for you know your, your testing purposes. And if you have a small amount of data that could work just fine for your, um, your actual data. So uh, we'll create the database. Uh, you can see it's the 30 meg size and you can set some various things in here. The most important thing though is if you're gonna test out Redis Search, all you have to do is click this toggle and search Redis Search 2, uh, add Redis Search 2. Redis Search 2 is like Redis Search 2.0 and we just released this. It's got all the new Redis Search features. Uh, so you definitely wanna use that one. I don't think you can even use the old one in here. We just listed as Redis Search 2. Okay, so now we have a database with Redis Search 2 and it provisions it takes a few moments to provision but once it's provisioned uh, you should get a host name and while we wait we can sort of just click around here um, obviously there's no metrics yet <laughs> or slow log but those are things that we have okay so now we have a host name and a port number right so uh, we could connect to this with uh, redis cli and actually, since, you know, why not? Why not just do it? Uh, so when you, you know, connect to Redis instance, if you are not using, if you're not using a local host, I'm just look, where am I? I'm in my source directory, okay. Um, if you're not using local host, you use P, oh, use H and then P and you'll select the port number. And boom, here we are. All right, and actually I think there's usually a password or there's there's always a password because that's secure. Um, so we need to off with our password. It's the default user. There's no username, just a password. And now you can see there should be some Redis search commands. Yes, so there's some Redis search commands in here. Um, so we could create an index. We have to have a schema for an index. Um, all right, very minimal. And now we have a, 
a search index. Okay, so that was Redis Cloud. Let's go back and look at some of the other options here. Um, so we'll go back to the Redis Search homepage, back to our quick start guide, and now let's use Docker. All right, so it's also easy to get set up with Docker. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, run this image. It's the Redis, the latest Redis Search image that we publish on Docker Hub, and we're going to map port 6379 in the container to the host, I think is how that works. So basically the, the point is that when we connect uh, to local ho host on port 6379, we're gonna be connecting to this Redis search uh, container that's running. Port is already allocated. All right, well, if you run into this problem, you probably, you may also, you may already be running Redis uh, at either, you know, from like homebrew Redis, oops, up. So either like homebrew Redis or uh, maybe you have a Docker container already. So I had to stop my other Redis instance and now let's try this again. Okay, so when we run, you get the this normal output from Redis. So here we are, um, we have Redis search running locally through Docker and let's connect and see. Do we have the, the commands? Yes, so we have the, um, the Redis search commands and the Redis search commands are prefixed with ft dot. So like ft dot uh, search, ft dot info, ft dot create. Uh, these are all the Redis search commands. So we have them here and that was Docker. So now we're gonna do the, the uh, build it from source option. So building Redis search from source uh, doesn't work right at this moment on Mac OS. So I'm gonna do it on Ubuntu and um, we'll see how it works. So let's go to uh, my Linux terminal here and I'm gonna follow the steps from the quick start page we were just looking at, uh, building and running from source. So first I'm gonna clone the repository. And it's just gonna grab all the dependencies, get everything ready. And then I go into the, uh, oh, I'm already in there. Okay, great. Uh, I'm there. I'm in the repository I checked out. I need to do make setup. Um, now it says on Linux, you need to use sudo. That's if you're using, if you're not running in a container, I'm in, in a uh, Docker container, so I don't need sudo. I'm just gonna do make setup. This also downloads and sets up a bunch of dependencies to do the build. So we can just wait for this um, to happen. Should take a few minutes. All right, so that's done. Now, I ran make setup, I'm just gonna switch here. Okay, now I need to build, I need to do make build. This will build the binary file we can load into Redis server. So exciting, right? So exciting, okay. And once it's built, it shows up in the build folder here. And the file we want is redisearch.so. All right, so um, now I've sort of prepped this Linux uh, machine, we'll call it this Linux container with Redis. You need, a, you need a recent version of Redis. Usually it's more recent than the one in, if you're using Ubuntu, than the one in the uh, package repository. Um, we, Redis Labs, has a PPA you can use to get newer versions of Redis into Ubuntu. So that's what I, I uh, did here. So I did uh, add apt repository uh, PPA colon Redis Labs slash Redis. So once I did that, I could do it's already in there. So but this is what it looks like if you're if you're doing it. Uh, you know, it's sets that up and then you do app update. And when you do this, it'll say, um, you know, you might have some stuff that can be upgraded. Oh, it told me I have stuff that can be upgraded. Okay. And then the, the whole point here is app install. Actually, let's app remove uh, Redis. We'll just pretend like we didn't have this installed. All right, so we do app install Redis and that's gonna install Redis server and everything that we need. Okay, so we have Redis. It's uh, version six, sorry, version six. There we go, that's what we want. And we're gonna, uh, 
well, I actually don't know what happens when you type make run, but let's actually do it the, the harder way. Let's do it the way that, uh, so it lets us see what's going on behind the scenes, right? So Redis server, the Redis dash server command accepts modules, uh, accepts modules to, to load in when it runs, right? So we just built a module, we built the Redis search module. So if we wanna just load that module from the command line, we can use the load module command line flag to the Redis server option. And once we do that, we get the same output that we saw in our other, uh, in the Docker version, right? So uh, where it picks up Redis search and uh, for some reason <laughs> it thinks it's version 99, something went wrong <laughs> somewhere and that's fine. Um, it's still Redis search, right? So we, we know that this is working uh, or at least, uh, well, we don't really know. Why don't, let's double check that it's working, right? So let's daemonize this in the background and then we can use Redis CLI in the foreground and just check that some of these commands exist. All right, so once Redis starts auto-completing a command, you know that it's there, but we can also just see we, we get an error because we didn't give this command any uh, any options, any arguments, but um, that's the ft.info command we looked at earlier. It's the Redis, one of the Redis search commands. It means that our module is loaded and working properly. So um, that's one way to, uh, that's one way to load Redis search into Redis. If you're using your own Redis server, right? If you're running Redis server and you want to load a module, you, you can build Redis search and load it in there from the command line. But the other thing you can do is, uh, oh no, this, this container doesn't have Vim. Does it even have Vi? Wow. Well, that's just sad. Just sad. I'm a Vim user myself, uh, as well as VS Code and PyCharm and Emacs sometimes. And well, I use a lot, but uh, we I need Vim in my container. All right. So um, if you, you know, if you if you're configuring Redis through the configuration file instead of just through command line flags, you can do a lot through command line flags. But um, if you do it through the configuration file, then this is how you do that, right? In our case, uh, we had it in temp slash Redis search slash build slash Redis search dot so. Let's see if that starts. Probably not. What happened? Oh, right. <laughs> we've already uh, we've already started Redis. Okay. I don't think that worked. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, right. Because when we when we run the command, it doesn't know uh, it doesn't know where the configuration file is. And let's see. That's right. So if you want to, you would normally have to do this, right? Because usually, if you install Redis, um, you're using you're not usually calling Redis dash dash server to actually start it. But in any event, uh, that's the configuration file that you use in Ubuntu, typically slash Etsy slash Redis slash Redis dot com. So we're gonna just pass that into the redis dash server uh, command and see what happens. Um, maybe it doesn't know that we want standard out to shoot out into our face. I don't really know, but uh, that's probably the case. It's probably logging to, um, it's probably logging to, log file. All right, great. So here's the log file that that command was logging to. And here you can see uh, it also picked up the Redis search module. So what we just showed was you can build the module, you can build Redis search, the module, and you can pass it as a command line argument to Redis dash server command, or you can edit the configuration file and um, pass the path to that module in there and run it. Well, there you have it. We installed Redis Search with Docker. We got it running with Docker. We installed it with Redis Cloud uh, by clicking some buttons, which was great, and connected to it. And we also saw how you can build the module yourself and add it to the Redis server command when it's when it starts up, and it'll load the module. And then you can use Redis Search. So those are all the many ways you can install Redis Search. There may be more that I don't know about, uh, but uh, once you've got one of these. 
Once you've set it up one of these ways, then you can watch some of our other videos on how to actually use Redis Search to write some commands, to uh, add secondary indexes to your Redis data, to query it, much like you can with SQL. So check those out and, uh, and try it out yourself. All right.